Howdy, people. Long time no see. Just want to let you guys know I am still alive for now. Um, I think one of the last videos I did, I uh, told you guys I moved. Um, I'm out in the country now. Um, the house is a lot smaller than the uh, house I moved out of. <clears throat> it, uh, it was a lot of room upstairs, but it was a lot of cleaning, a lot of stairs, and we were fed up with the way things were going in the city. So I'm about 45, 50 minutes out of town now. I love it every minute of it. Peaceful, quiet. Only got a couple acres, but everybody around me has got, you know, two or three. The guy beside me has got 15, so don't have a whole lot of neighbors. But anyhow, wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff. And quickly show you what, uh, what I've been doing. This, uh, I think it's a 20, I think it's 24 <clears throat> by 12 shed. And I've got 17 feet by 12 in here. Um, I had originally wanted to spray foam the walls and ceiling and underneath um but it's very expensive um i did my square footage wrong and just to do basically the underneath is gonna cost like 300 some bucks and so didn't do that trying to keep it within a certain amount of budget um did fiberglass insulation and the masonite board over top of that that's a little bit hard to do because it's very wavy um after you put it up because it doesn't the shed's heated and cooled but i don't let it run all the time because i'm not out here all the time um so the masonite t tends to pucker quite a bit so i don't care you know this is still getting back to what i want to do and uh I'm setting up for retirement. Um, got to put an attic upstairs for all of our junk because the house really doesn't have an attic. Um, so we can put all our crap upstairs. And I got my train room down here. And then the front's got five or six foot, whatever it is. <clears throat> I've got all my tools, not all of them, but a bunch of tools, you know, floor jacks, all that kind of stuff. And the access to the attic is up there too. Bought all these LED lights. I think I bought a pack of four foot uh, tubes, eight of them, if I'm not mistaken, for like 40 bucks off Amazon. Don't expect them to last for, forever. That's why I bought more. We have extras down there in that box, actually. <clears throat> um, get them while I can because I don't think these will last forever. But anyhow, working on the lift out bridge. That's actually Derek's idea. Um, I had to go back. I think he said. I think his video was seven years old where he did that. I don't even know if he still has it in his layout now. But uh, working on that, just going to do a continuous loop. Um, I think you can see, yeah, underneath here, over here. I'm going to do the yard, um, at least for storage. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know if I have the room to do a helix, but I'm thinking I may be able to do a, um incline. Oh, underneath out of the yard underneath all the way up and then break through that's what i'm thinking right now i don't even know if i'm gonna do that uh, got a long ways to go before i get this done because i'm not gonna rush through it but anyhow yeah, um i'm gonna flip you around and show you a little bit more i uh, put the uh workbench down here i've actually got uh led light underneath there too I think that'll work out a little bit better work on stuff. Keeps it pretty bright. Um, and I'm putting more under here. And I'll unplug it. There we go. Like I said, I've got more so I can light up underneath there, see what I'm dealing with. That's the uh, heat pump little deal second one i've had the first one didn't even last a year and amazon covered it under warranty which was pretty decent that's all my stuff still 
stored up, most of it. Um, I got a boxes of locomotives and cars and scenery and all that stuff. Uh, I bought a little paint booth. Uh, my wife's starting to do crafts now. Of course, she's got the room in the house with the crafts. Um, and I'm out here, which is fine with me. Uh, buddy of mine gave me these. I don't remember what even brand this thing is. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. I don't even know what it is. I'll have to look at it a little closer. I just uh, took them out of the box and put them up here on the shelves just because they, they were out. Let me give them a little steam locomotive. Yeah, it's broken, but I'll see if I can fix it up maybe. All these cars are heavy. Um, the locomotive over there is not that bad. That's just a regular Jeep. Jeep, Jeep. I bought uh, two of those for my grandson. And he comes in here every once in a while and, and uses those. Uh, so that's about it. Not a big deal. Not a whole lot. Um, but it'll serve its purpose for me. I'm, I'm doing this on my phone. I think my camera's inside somewhere. I have to try to dig that up if I continue to do videos. Um, so I just want to wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas and everything too. And just let you know that I am still working on trains. I know you don't see me a lot on uh, YouTube. I do watch you guys. Um, I don't do Facebook pretty much anymore. I'm tired of all that mess, all the social media, uh, all the arguing and fighting. I'm done with it. Um, everybody's got an opinion. I don't have to listen to all of them. So anyhow, good seeing you guys. And take care of yourself. And I'll try to get back on when I start actually building stuff and putting the layout together. So... Take care. We'll see you.